In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to combine shapes and colors to make simpler legends on your dashboards. First, let me show you the problem. Let's say that I want to look at all of my followers for every weekday as a unit chart. I'm going to do that by right click and dragging follow date to the rows. I'm going to choose weekday. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drag gender to the color. Change my mark type to a shape. And I'm going to drag gender to the shape. And you see I've got three different types of, of genders, males, females, and companies. I know companies aren't genders, but I had to classify them as something. So the first thing I'm going to do is change the colors. So I'm going to set my females to pink and my companies to gray. Next I'm going to change my shapes. So for my shapes I'm going to use my gender shapes. So here's my male, here's my female, and then for my company I'm going to use an icon. So let's say I think I have a location icon. So let's maybe use this location icon. Okay, so there we go. Um, now the next thing I need to do is I want to see every follower. So I'm going to right click and drag follow date to the, oops, I'm going to right click and drag follow date to the detail shelf and look at every record. And you can see how they appear on here, but they're not in the correct order because I want them by uh, individual date. So to fix that, I'm going to create a calculated field called index. And it's just the index function is basically just a way to help you count things. So I'm going to drag that to the column shelf and you'll see it sort of splits them into, into this like staircase effect. So I need to edit the table calculation, choose the advanced option, and then tell Tableau how it to count. So I'm going to do it by weekday, follow date, and then gender. Hit OK. And I want it to recount every weekday. Okay, so there you go. You can see how on Monday and Tuesday, my first follower was a male, and on Wednesday, my first follower was a female, Thursday, it was a company. Okay, great. From here, I can go ahead and uncheck the header so I can hide the axis, hide my field labels, and let's just default this to entire view and make our shapes a little bit bigger. Okay, so something like that, that looks pretty good. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is uh, we wanna go ahead and put these on a dashboard. So I'm gonna go to create a new dashboard. And let's just default the size to, um, I like to first set it to automatic, and then exactly, and shrink it down to three. This gives me a nice size dashboard. So from here, I'm gonna drag sheet one onto the view. Oops. Okay, and you'll notice, uh, let me go ahead and hide this title. You'll notice what Tableau did is it brought in my color and my shape legends. Well, I would really like to have just one legend that is both the colors and the shapes. So let's create that. Let's create a new sheet. And let's start by putting gender on the color, changing my mark type to shapes, and putting gender on shape. All right, and now I want to use the index function again. Uh, this time I want to put it in the columns, and I need to compute it using every gender. So there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck the show header, make them nice and big. And then let's go ahead and fit to entire view. From here, I'm going to do a bit of formatting. So I'm going to hide my rows, hide my columns, and then I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my tooltips. Okay, so now we've got males, females, and companies, and you'll notice that these are both represent the shape and the color. So let's call this our legend. Now on our dashboard, uh, perhaps I want to float this legend up here in this part of the chart. So I'm going to start by putting floating a vertical container, or a horizontal container, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to float it up there in the corner. And then I'm going to take the legend shelf, I'm sorry, the legend sheet, and I'm going to shift drag that into my horizontal container. Now for this, I'm gonna change the title because I'm gonna actually put an action on this. So I'm gonna say, click to highlight. So the idea here is like right now, if I turn highlighting on, on the color, you can see I can click on males, females, or companies, and I could do the same thing for the shapes. I could click on males, females, or companies, but really I just wanna have one legend instead of two. 
So that's kind of what I'm doing here. So let's go ahead back over here and let's pick our, uh, so now we can hide or we can get rid of this container that has the two legends. And I can move this up here to the, oops, didn't want to do that. I can move this over here, come on. Uh, let's pick the container. And we can drag the container up here to the upper right. Maybe shrink it up. And then I'm going to format my container so it has a nice light gray border around it to make it stand out a little bit. Okay, so the last step then is to actually add a dashboard action. So I'm going to remove this action, add a highlight action. That previous action you saw was the one that got turned on by clicking the highlight on the shape. So I'm going to call this my uh, gender highlight highlighter, and it's going to go from my legend to my sheet. Hit OK. Hit OK again. And now you'll see I can click on this and I can make it so it's just a highlight legend, just as if the two legends were working before. So just a really simple tip to help you organize your dashboards a little bit better, use space a little bit better so that you only have one legend instead of two. Hope that helps. Have a great day.